Okay, we're at Ohio Creek State Park, hiking the uh, Gerard Trail. Yeah. And we parked at uh, Blood Farm. There's our vehicle over there. We have a playground here. Uh, vault toilets. Garbage. <clears throat> nice picnic area. The crick's down here. Just seen some guys going out to do some uh, fly fishing. Hope they do good. And there is our first yellow blaze. We got about what eight and a half miles. I don't know. I don't see another blaze. See a blaze in there? Mm -hmm. Look down here. Lexi's all packed up. Yeah, there's a blaze here, hon. I just took a uh, 20,000 milliamp battery out of my pack just to lose a little bit of weight. All right, here's our second blaze. And there's a trail. We should be seeing our third blaze pretty soon. How you doing, Lex? Okay, we're doing our first road walk. I made it about 50 feet to the car and my uh, feet are soaking wet already. Becky, how's your feet doing? Nice and dry, waterproof shoes. Okay. Lexi, how's your feet doing? Well, she's losing a little wet top right Okay, we're going uh, counterclockwise here. We're going to, first night will be cow run. Mm -hmm. Got uh, shelter number six reserved. from that direction. On that telephone pole is a blaze. Um, there's no other blazes, but there is a sign here which they need a blaze on. And uh, the trail goes up the hill here. And Lexi just pooped again. No, she didn't. She peed. Oh, okay. That's someone else's poop. Beck, is that yours? That's not Lexi's. Oh, okay. Alright, so we ready to go up the trail? Okay, our first hill, and it's 8.6 to call run. Okay, so, there is a little downhill right over here that doesn't have steps, but Becky fell on her ass. She didn't warn me so I can have the camera out. See the hands? Turn around, let's see the butt. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, but anyway, we're, I don't know how far, but uh, there's a hiker sign in here. The tracks are down here. And the uh, crick's a little further out. So far, we've been walking this uh, shelf on this hill just going up and down nothing real major so becky's going to fill the book out do you want a friends of oil creek state park brochure no nah.
Jason Tubis outside Instagram and YouTube. Who? Sinchuas. Sinchuas. Dave and Kate and uh, CF Sinchuas. Rich and Becky and Lexi. Hey, make sure you leave a thumbprint with mud on it. Say, I fell on my ass. <laughs> Okay, what's your right? Rich, Becky, and Lexi, awesome. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I thought you were going down. <laughs> now I had the camera on. She's fallen twice already. Her old trail name was uh, Bear Bait. Now it falls a lot. That's Oil Creek down there. Here we've got our first uh, structure we came across. So that belt come down this chute. Hooked on down here. Right inside here, which turned that shaft. And this is uh, the Centrix, so I believe it just went back and forth and it pushed and pulled these rods that in turn. Operate the uh, pumps at the drill at the well sites. And these things, these rods went for quite a distance too. So it's really amazing how uh, how they did this. Hi, back. Hi, Rich. Hi, Lex. I if we can go around it. Take it right up through there. Okay, it says hiking trail. Yeah. And it's helping to go through. Hmm.
Oh, there's a bridge in here. <laughs> what happened? I'm sinking. Okay. How waterproof are your shoes? Okay. Lex, there's a nice bigger pool up here. Come on, Lex. Come here, up here. Come on. Come on, up here. Come on. Look here. Look at that. Think she goes down? <laughs> She's biting the water. There, she, oh. she went down. <laughs> <laughs> Picture. Okay, you're, you're drinking dirty water. Okay. Let's go. I'll mark this on the map. Yeah, I can't tell if my feet got wet or not. Okay. I'm going to say they're pretty dry. Yeah, orange one. No, he's, he's love. What is it? Great petroleum shaft. Mighty big hole. Okay, four point five miles to go. <sighs> this way, Lex. We just came from down there. half mile or so it's been pretty nice and level but we came to this so hopefully it's not too far off trail nah Lexi's wearing out yeah. we've got about four more miles we've got a bench we got a nice place to take uh, lunch
Like I said, we've been following uh, ski trails and uh, came up to this one area. There's a little warming shelter over there. Then we have the power trail, which is easy. And of course, ours is most difficult and Caution Hill. So we were hoping to run a ridge the whole way, but I didn't think that was going to happen. I like how they use a uh, shingle on here for traction. Okay, we're off the ski trail now, as you can see. <laughs> Should have about two miles, maybe, maybe a little, a little less. Okay, we came to an intersection. And uh, Becky figured out all on her own which way to go. So I'm very proud of her. I'm, I'm glad I brought her because I'd be lost right now. Yeah. <laughs> we stopped a little while back and got some, filled her some water out of a little stream. And uh, my Sawyer squeeze wasn't flowing too well, so I flushed it out and got a little bit better. But uh, I bought a catadine. I don't have it with me. But after that episode, I might have to buy another one. So we have two, one as a backup. And switch over to the catadine. Right now the catadine's in my bike. I took it when I went bike packing a couple weeks ago. But the flow rate's a lot better. What's that? Probably be the last one I look at will be the one we're staying in. Oops, six. All right, it's down here, back. Okay. This is home sweet home. We're staying at number six. A little bit of firewood there. We got two over there, it's five. Four. The one, two, and three are up on top, and then four, five, and six are down here. Okay, this is number three. Um, there's really no good places to pop, pop a tent on three. So up on top of the hill here is uh, one's over here. Number two is here, and then three, and then down below that, that's six right here, then five is right down here, and then four is right over here on the other side of the hill here. 
Then up here is the bathroom. Okay. What's that? It looks like the firewood. Yeah, firewood. Firewood's up there. Come here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, firewood's up there. She's enjoying it. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so we had our first dinner. Uh, we're all set up for bed. It's only about six o'clock. But Becky decided she's going to lay down with Lexi and read her book. So I bet you within a half an hour she's sleeping. I not to put the tent up. Probably could have left a tent at home. Just slept in a shelter. It's pretty neat. They have, I don't know for sure if everyone has them, but you'll see there's eye bolts down here, here, and up here, and they're on both sides. So you can, if you had a narrow enough tarp, put it up there to keep the wind, rain, snow out. Be pretty pretty nice in the winter once you get a fire going. Uh, I don't think we're getting a fire going. I'm worried about uh, getting a hole in an air mattress. I'm just gonna clean our mess up. I may have another dinner. Comfortable back? For now. Okay. Lexi looks comfortable. Yeah. I think Lexi's out. Yeah, she's sleeping. Yeah. Here we walked up. Uh, where you get your firewood out? There's just a big black snake here. Log splitter. Courtesy box for donations. And a bear box. one piece of garbage in there. Okay, we just left the uh, Cal Run Shelter. Nice place. If you don't have if you're not worried about bugs, you can leave your tent behind and bring two small tarps to close up the gaps between the fireplace. Lexi's stopping again. Um, if you want privacy, one, three, and four are probably the best. As far as hammocks go. The only one that's bad is six. So the rest of them you can figure something out. I know. Come on. I see a um, chipmunk. We were going to Wolf Kill, which is about 15 and a half miles away. And we talked last night and this morning. But we don't think Lexi will make it. She was pretty run down after nine and a half miles last night. So just doing that extra six miles or so is... Uh, a killer, but if you look at her now, she's got all kind of energy. So what we're doing is we're hiking back to the car. We're going to stop, fill up our water bottles. And we're going to drive over to Wolf Kill. And spend the night and check out those shelters in the tent area. Hopefully it's as nice or nicer than this one was. Burns, the birds sound good this morning.
What do you think? You like dirty water? <laughs> okay. There she goes. Right. Come on, Lex. She's got the right idea. <laughs> Except right. her uh, poopy bag thing is filling up with water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, there, got muddy water. There's the bridge we got across. Becky went through the swamp yesterday. Yeah, I don't want to do that again. So we're going to take my route. Okay, ready? Let's go. Are we following you or? You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay, we're having some technical difficulties. Come on, Lex. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Miss. That branch I grabbed was attached. Or I'd have been turtled off the bridge. Mm hmm. Okay, everybody unscathed. No. Lexi, I think, I think you got the worst of it. Alright, let me catch you up to date. Go back to our car. Very hot today. Uh, go back to our car. Rode up to Titusville. At um, Burger King. And stopped to save a lot and got some water. We didn't know how the water would be here. So we drove to the... Um, Wolf Kill Access, walked on a, an eighth mile, I guess. Down hill, better than up at the end of the day. Anyway, when we get here, we had a couple finding four or five and six. We're staying in six. It's the last one on this end. The tent area is up here. And then that's four. There's five. On the other side of four is three, and it's pretty secluded. Then after that is two, and it's pretty secluded. And then one's further up, it's all by itself. But uh, up here's the uh, odd house, and then further up from it's the woodshed. So we're gonna get unpacked. I'll take a walk around later. All right, we got unpacked a little bit. Our sleep kit ready to go. I don't think I'm gonna make a fire. I, we just got two new air mattresses. I'm just afraid of poking a hole in them. We get, too bad they don't have screens here. We're another three foot or so in between. But I'm not thinking of fire. Okay, like I said, that's five and there's four. So far, they all look like you could hang a camp, uh, hammock. That four is half secluded. Three looks pretty secluded. There's someone staying in three right now. Same setup. Water, doggy bags, newspaper, trash. Let's go check out number one. Okay, down here is three. Two's over here. And one is way over here. She's back there hollering something about the dog. Hey, 
Yeah, number one's pretty nice. But 10 area, plenty of opportunity for a hammock. I guess this trail takes you to two. What happened? My shoe fell apart. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it even has a uh, spot that I can put a tent. Mm -hmm. The trail keeps going down there, and it looks like it's pretty worn. I don't know why. Is that maybe the trail trail? I don't see bl yellow blazes. So which one would be your favorite? Oh, this one. Yeah, but one, one, two, or three are both nice. Four is not bad either. Five and six are too close. Okay, here's the firewood. Again, they have a log splitter. It's pretty nice. And that's where, where your bear box is. She keeps blowing her uh, flip-flop out. <laughs> we'll see if anybody's back here in the tent sites. That's the hill we came down from the parking area. About an eighth mile. Coming this way or going that way? My shoe keeps falling apart. All right. So I'm gonna go this way. All right. Alright, she's going to meet us back here. Wow, it's not, uh... Not what I thought it would be. Yeah, not quite what I thought. I thought they'd maybe have some tent pads or something. There's only a few nice places to put a tent. There's not too many. And you might be able to get one up here. There is a firing air. Over there looks too sloped. A firing here, but if you had to, you could get a tent in. Like someone had one right back here on a hill. And then this little trail here takes us back to our shelter. On the cell phone service here is uh, nil. We was able to get a tech stop, but no, no phone calls. So. Yeah, so that trail by one must be the trail coming up to the shelters. So that would be the only bad thing about number one, if that is the access trail. Yeah. So but other than that, it's pretty nice. Hiking up the road to uh, our car from Wolf Kill shelter area. Even though we didn't get to finish the whole trail, we had a good time. Uh, next time we leave the dog behind for sure. <laughs> she just about died last night. So, yeah, thanks for checking it out. <laughs>